Let's go to a Kiti state where the government at all levels have been advised to support entrepreneurs and create an enabling environment for them to thrive to meet up with the economic challenges in the country. We have details in this report. Here, the also is real. From the artisan by the roadside to the welder in the workshop, the bricklayer carefully setting his blocks, the apprentice at the sawmill, the cobblers mending old shoes and making new ones, and the tailor trying so hard to meet up with targets. Nigerians are not lazy after all. The honorable member representing this constituency in the House of Reps, David Akinlayo, is complementing the efforts of the community by empowering the youth and training them in various skills, which beneficiaries says will reduce unemployment in the society. Empowering youth nowadays is very, very good because most of the trainers or the trainees are graduates without job, but this one we boost their morale and we go a long way in their life. As we are saying, unemployment are very rampant in Nigeria. But if our honorable members, who people voted for, can be doing this in their various constituencies, I think unemployment will be reduced gradually in Nigeria. Participants urge state government and federal government to ensure ease of doing businesses beyond mere paper talk. They want consistent support that will bring verifiable results. They like to encourage our state government and even the federal government to even on, on the universities to have the ski acquisition to make it a core course. What the federal government can do to help situations out is to empower youth and uh, I so much appreciate what the Honorable Akila Yokola Wale Davidson is doing right now. The purpose of we being here is to empower the youth in all quarters of the state.